Yup, I still love Skyrim. And yup, I'm still not leaving it behind. As a matter of fact, I will likely return to this as a full-time series once we're done with Vice City. At least for a bit. This could take us a while, so maybe not, you know, until completion. But at least for five or ten episodes, you know. I knew it was a big world with a lot to do, but it wasn't until I threw myself into it I realised quite how much there is. And damn, there's still a ridiculous amount of us to do. It, it makes logical sense we just do things one at a time. With so many projects and quests and such we can do. It, it's not easy to pick, but I do, and I pick the Thieves Guild. Why? Well, because we've already had a lot of fun with it last time, and it felt different from the hacking and smashing that we've spent so much time doing. We've already got a quest from them, which is intimidating and stealing from the owners of the Golden Glow estate. That seems easy, right? And then this happened. Literally, first Three minutes of being back in this game, and we've got a goddamn blood dragon to kill. <sighs> it's been a while since I've had fight dragons, and uh, I was a bit rusty. So, how did it go? Well, it went like that. Okay, like I said, I'm rusty. I quickly pop home and pick up my dragon's bane sword, because I expected to have to fight him again. Sure enough, he's here. He then just sort of flew off, though. I didn't know what to expect, but it wasn't that. I guess if he's run away like the chicken he is though, we'll just continue with the quest. The first thing we need to do is burn some beehives and that requires stealth. Do you remember how good I am with stealth? Yeah. I do love me some stealthy games. I had a lot of fun with my big Metal Gear Solid project and I've always been a massive Assassin's Creed fan. One of my top franchises without question. But that doesn't mean I'm good at the stealth boss. <laughs> this is no exception. <laughs> Eventually we do manage to get up there and I remember I have fire magic. That makes it easy to burn them. With them burning, I hide. Although, hiding might work better if Lydia wasn't shooting them. I learned through this mission that bringing Lydia into the stealth portion is a mistake. If I have to creep around, she can't come with me. Cool, there's nothing but a problem. Anyway, we have the highest burn, which means the next thing we have to do is to get inside. We are given the optional objective of heading through the sewers, and sewers just seem like the best way to go, the best strategy, especially with our lack of stealth, and also being accompanied by loud Lydia. Oh, also, when I was in the sewers, I actually killed Lydia. Oops! Okay, I handle things a little bit more intelligently next time, and we get through, and that brings us out right to the door of the manor. We pick the expert level lock with ETH, I must say, and we go in, and oh god, this place. I hated this. I hated this with a passion. Firstly, I went in with Lydia, and she clearly didn't get the memo that we were meant to be stealthy. She attacked anyone she saw, so I left her behind. That was also a mistake, but I learned that later. We need to head upstairs and get the key for the safe from the owner. To do that, we have to creep past all the guards, and I've not done much stealth in this game, and that soon shows. Still, I get upstairs on my first non-Lydia try. I get spotted almost immediately when I'm there, but it still counts. My guy also developed a new way of creeping. What the actual fuck is that walk? Is this stealth or a fucking TikTok dance? <laughs> anyway... This guy. This guy is a big part of the problem. I do not seem to be able to get past him. A admittedly, it might have helped if I wore thief clothing and not heavy armour, but I didn't think of that until now. We got to the guy eventually, but <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out, did it? Basically, I ended up realising that I couldn't get there. I couldn't get there to stealth. Oh, and also, turned out the guy is below on the ground floor. Ground floor, not the first floor. Ground floor. They weren't just attacking me, they were killing Lydia. Oh, and I also screwed up my faves so badly, I could not go back to where I was before I entered this building. Yeah, I messed up in multiple ways, and I messed up badly. How am I going to fix this? The same way I fix all my problems, through sheer violence. I know that it might fail the mission, but my big priority right now is to save Lydia. Other than the fact that I genuinely like her, she's also the only companion I currently have access to. I come through and just pound these mercenaries, doing whatever it takes to weaken them. There are a lot of enemies and Lydia is down, but not out. I leave and come back to see if it resets, because sometimes it did, and it did. Now Lydia's back up, and there's only one enemy. Okay, that was easy. Now we're going to play it safe, as we've already killed. We won't even try sneaking now, we'll murder our way through. 
We warned against it, but murder hasn't made us fail the mission, so we'll keep trying. We head back upstairs, we kill them all, I pick the lock into this guy's bedroom, he sees me, and yet somehow I still successfully pick his pocket. We were explicitly told not to kill him, and we have at least done that. <laughs> he at least is still alive. With that done, we head down to the basement and we continue to demonstrate our lack of stealth skills and our great murder skills by butchering everyone. We get the contents of the safe at last and then get out of here and back home. Getting back to the Thieves Guild is hard because I don't know how to get there until I find this grave in the bottom. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Grinjolf, I'm sure that's how you say his name, like this and said that mission successful. We, we hardly did it quietly like he said, but we got it. He now sends us to take a mission from some lady. No idea who she is, but let's go. Before I go though, I make the intelligent decision to go home. Why? Because it might be an idea if we're going to continue the stealth missions to swap out our heavy armour for some light thief armour. <laughs> then we go and find this lady and tell that she's the Yarl. Also, how you doing? Okay, her attitude has put me right off, but I'll still accept the mission from her. She wants us to help her stop some guy setting me. I don't know much more, but we'll find out when we get there. There is Whiterun, one of the places that we've spent a lot of time and truly do love. And the guy we're talking to is called Malice. We're basically shutting down a rival brewery to the Jarl. And we're going to do that by poisoning the mead he sells, which will poison a guard who is taste testing it. This guy had a pest problem, so we'll use the poison to kill both the pest and the mead. Taking out two birds with one stone. Easy, right? Well, convincing the guy to let me help him is easy enough. We even convinced him to pay us up front with a good old fashioned threat, which also gets us an achievement. Thank you very much. Anyway, down to the basement and killing the skeevers, which is really easy. Killing the sorcerer is more trouble, but we get him to get the, well, pests poisoned and then head up to the brewery. Poisoning the meat is also really easy. And then everything goes as we want. Man gets poisoned, man's the rest brewery owner. We take control. We have access to the paperwork we need to bring home, which is what we need to finish the mission. I steal a few treats too, for good measure. We've actually made her happy and her attitude seems to have dropped a little, so now I'll repeat. Hey, how you doing? Nothing? Okay, okay, I give up. Onwards to another mission then. I'm enjoying the Thieves Guild and I want to get it done, so we're going to keep pushing forward. We need to identify who it is that's coming after us. We think we know the middleman for this person, so let's go and shake him down. We get told not to kill him, so when I say shake him down, I mean that we're just shaking him down. This takes us to Solitude, which is nice. It's not fun where we spent a ton of time. It's good to have an excuse to return. Now, shakedown on Lizard. Which doesn't end up being a shakedown. If anything, we end up doing him a favour. We need to steal a case of wine in the main palace. Oh god, I can see this being an absolute nightmare to do, right? Not even slightly. Just watch. Walk to the side, see it, grab it, nothing. We just walk out the front door, sorted. The lizard gives us, quote, information. We don't trust him. We don't believe everything he's saying. We're sure he's missing things, so we follow him. First time didn't go so great, but the second time did. We pickpocketed a key we needed off of him and then follow him in the docks. This time I was smart enough to tell Lydia not to follow me in. We don't need her messing this up. This looked like it was going to be quite hard trying to avoid guards patrolling the interior of the docks, but I found the solution pretty easily. I just stuck in the water. If I got spotted, I went under. Easy, right? Well, yeah. Lizard walks around a bunch and eventually leaves. We figure out where he went, a little secret passage and tunnel behind the East Empire docks, and went through to the Brine Water Grotto. And this place sucks! Seriously. So... Oh god, I, just, I hate this. This was the worst place here by mile. Just creeping around, not an option. They're too close. Beating my way through, also not really an option unless I fancy losing my head. Water was sort of the option, but we just couldn't get in close. The answer was a bit of both. A bit of everything, really. A bit of water sneaking, a bit of land sneaking, a bit of kidding. We killed a few guys and sort of snuck towards the end, hiding nearby. I then went sort of up, over and around our lizard's friend. When he spots us, he comes over and gives us everything we want. And we now know who's targeting us. Carlyle. We head up, go back and give that name. 
We have another mission now, unsurprisingly, to take down Carlyle. But now, now's the time to leave it. I wanted to do a few more missions of the Thieves Guild questline, and well, it's exactly what we did. I torched beehives, broke into a safe, poisoned mead, snuck into a military trading post, and intimidated the lizard. That's not bad for a day's work, huh? And next time, no idea. I will see what I thought I'd do. Until then.